Hey YouTubers, it's Bella. Hey, I hope that you guys are doing real good. Um, I thought I'd come out here. It's been a while since I put one out there. And I'm trying to get better at this. <laughs> so anyways, um, I decided that I was going to continue talking about ungodly soul ties. And for you people out there that aren't familiar with ungodly soul ties, uh, basically what that is is if you're having um, sex before marriage, you, because see, when you get married, um, God blesses you, so it's considered a godly soul tie. But if you're committing sin, you know, by having sex before marriage, then you're considered of uh, having ungodly soul ties. And it's all, it's because it's like when you're having sex with somebody, it's so intimate. And um, it's like you become one. You know, um, that's how it's meant to be. But it's supposed to be like that when you're married. Not when you're not married. So, therefore, it's ungodly. But I have a theory about this. I think that when people commit sin, and this is just my theory that I put out there. At least I'm brave enough to come on here and tell people how I feel. If people are just like zombies walking around here you know no one has an opinion on anything only these people that uh... you know write on my comments here on my blog you know who you are and i love you fire charger um, i love your your blogs i watch them they're awesome i'm glad you started doing videos on here um, the thing is I'm on here trying to say how I feel and this is my theory on this when you're having sex with people like multiple persons and you're not married I think every time you have sex it's because you, you become one it doesn't matter if you're having a one night stand but you're picking up all their sins because it's such an intimate act so it goes upon you so I think like you know all kinds of different stuff like people have addictions that could come on to you you leave your door open so you're vulnerable to that or you know people who are bisexual you know the spirit of lust you know uh, people who commit adultery and then when you get in a relationship you 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 know because you open the door and you let the spirit come in you could be setting yourself for that type of thing down the road so I say no spirit is a good spirit so don't leave yourself open don't leave doors open and this stuff is true okay and I know I'm gonna have a couple of people that are on skeptics on here but I'm telling you this stuff is true like a heart attack um, ever since I've you know I I've been a child of God and I and through the Holy Spirit he gave me the gift of prophecy I, I saw myself being raptured um, I you know, I, I love that they came up with YouTube, so I'm going to fight fire with fire, you know. And I'm going to tell people out there who are willing to have their ears open, their eyes open, and uh, hopefully you listen, and maybe something clicks and this makes sense to you. But you ever notice, though, when you're in an ungodly relationship, everything happens. You know, you have all kinds of problems with that person. It's almost like it comes with the territory when you're you know it's like God doesn't um, favor on that he, he thinks that maybe that person's not the right person plus you're committing sin I mean a sin is a sin in God's eyes so um, you know all the things will start happening because God isn't you know you don't have his you know a blessing with that so uh, you're opening yourself up to Satan and you know and his realm that spiritual realm that's going to be attacking you you know and you're going to have some major spiritual warfare. So, I mean, open your minds to this. I mean, it's true. Um, I Just from personal experience, things I've read from the Bible and Scripture. I'm not good at Scripture, so I'm not going to quote it. But you know what I'm talking about? I mean, if you're not sure, just Google it. You know what I said. Um, and, and do the research on yourself. Because I, I consider myself a watchman. And I've been a watchman for quite a few years and um but part of being a watchman too is you need to do research you can't be going off of what people all these people say on the video and you have to go through the word of god 
and uh, you know and, and put the pieces together if the Holy Spirit really is in you you've you know you ask for deliverance re you know redemption uh, slowly you'll start hearing the Holy Spirit in yourself um, that's how I can how I explain that but uh, I noticed though when I started living in sin and I and this was the last relationship I had the guy had, you know, he was an alcoholic, he was abusive to me. It was like when he, you know, and we're, you know, I was his girlfriend for two years, but it's a very, very difficult relationship. Of course it's not a godly soul tie. It's an ungodly soul tie. And it just seemed like he would cheat on me constantly, uh, get drunk, and just say terrible mean things to me. I saw, you know, and I left myself open to that. So you need to be very, very selective of the relationships you choose. And uh, read your Bible and um, join Bible study groups. That's what I did. And I took classes. I go to Calvary Chapel. I, I, you know, I've gone to Revival and Harvest over here in California. Those are some good Christian-based churches. But be very careful right now. There's wolves out there hiding the sheep, you know, a lot of false prophets out there. So, I mean, hopefully the Holy Spirit is there in your soul and your heart and it'll help you discern what is the truth. I noticed that the Holy Spirit's in me and he's just, you know, if I have a, a question and I ask Jesus about it, it's like he'll pull that scripture out almost, you know, and then, oh, that makes sense, you know. So do stuff, do some research. Uh, be careful, you know, about having sex with uh, people. Uh, remember, you're getting, not only are you getting STDs, but you can get all kinds of nasty, nasty little booger spirits. And they're not good spirits. There's just only one kind of spirit, evil spirits. And they're all associated with Satan's demons, okay? So, um, take care of yourself, and God bless you. And I hope I can appeal to somebody out there, and they're really listening, that God's given them the ears to hear. And, and it's taking your veil off. We're slowly taking your veil off. Alright? Love ya. Peace. And I'm human too. I have the same problems you guys do too. Alright? I'm fighting the same war, the same battle. Love ya.